Purchasing additional FA-50s for the Philippine Air Force is nothing new, as there is an idea for the organization to add at least one squadron of these primary combat trainers on a separate budget from multi-role. Fighter Jet Acquisition Project In fact, we previously discussed in August 2022 the possibility of obtaining additional aircraft from Korea Aerospace Industries. According to recent information Korea Aerospace Industries KAI proposed an interesting plan to the Philippine Air Force to acquire at least two additional squadrons of FA-50 Pico Henry's aircraft aimed at strengthening the existing FA-50 Pico Henry's jet squadron currently in service initially the Philippine Air Force plans to acquire only one squadron additions based on its flight plan initiative during the Philippine Air Force's recent pre-anniversary. It was only in this way that Korea Aerospace Industries offered the idea that the Philippine Air Force needed to secure at least two more squadrons of F-A-50s, not just one squadron of aircraft as suggested by the leadership, as the organization maximized its strength. The current utility of the F-A-50PH is that at a certain point in time there were only a handful of fully operational aircraft of this type in the fleet. The reasons given by Korea Aerospace Industries suggesting that the Philippine Air Force may come up with at least three squadrons of F-A-50s appear to be because each of these squadrons, if deployed at one of the three air bases owned by the Air Service branch across the region. This country, giving them full scope to patrol and respond to any area within the Philippine Air Defense Identification Zone, clearly demonstrating its role as a light multi-role combat aircraft. This of course does not negate the fact that the Philippine Air Force is still keen to acquire a multi-role fighter jet as part of its flight plan initiative, now with news that it has the opportunity to secure the JAS-39 Gripen under the agreement. The current multi-role fighter jet acquisition project, and using the F-16 Falcon under the Excess Defense Articles or EDA, could be upgraded to a Block 7070 seconds Viper variant at a cost borne by the Philippine government. Simply put, the Philippine Air Force will probably come up with several combined squadrons of primary combat trainers that double as light combat aircraft and multi-role fighter aircraft that the organization would like to have with at least 48 such aircraft, thus reaching that number. At least six squadrons of this combined force, four squadrons of which are for multi-role fighter jets and two squadrons, 24 units, of FA-50 if the organization's plans are to be followed. Having more aircraft will help not only provide additional coverage to respond in any part of the country's national airspace, but also allow the few existing FA-50 units to perform multiple maintenance schedules without significantly compromising the Philippine Air Force's ability to deal with air attacks. Conditions for the availability of aircraft held in trust. Regardless of whether it is one squadron or two, an additional FA-50 for the Philippine Air Force is better than nothing. Kim emphasized that the FA-50 is a cost-effective solution favored by global customers as a next-generation multi-role fighter aircraft but specific pricing details were not provided during the presentation especially as Kai has done it previously. Producing 12 FA-50 light combat aircraft for the Philippine Air Force, this step aims to increase the country's territorial defense capabilities, especially considering the increasing tensions with China in the Western Philippine Sea. Kim suggested that the Philippine Air Force consider upgrading or purchasing a more advanced version of the existing F-A-50PH light fighter jet to further strengthen its defense capabilities. He also recommended retrofitting or upgrading the 12 F-A-50PHS currently in service by equipping them with radar and targeting systems. Along with a 300-gallon external fuel tank to expand their combat range, Kim emphasized that this proposal offers a cost-effective solution to help the Philippine Air Force become a credible air force. He highlighted the F-50's advanced combat capabilities that provide customers with greater operational flexibility, can reach a top speed of Mach 1.5 and can be armed with air-to-air -air missiles such as the Sidewinder M9 along with autocannons and bombs.